guys welcome to DTW GED prep okay so in today's video I'm going to be talking about distance in mathematics all right and um, if this is your first time on this channel please click the subscribe button and notification bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload an educational video on your GED test for you okay and it's our mission here to complete the GED syllabus before the end of the year to support you in your GED math test okay so um so let's go on to distance now. So what is distance? In maths, distance, okay, is equal to what? Your rate at which something uh, travels, okay, uh, let me just put rate, is equal to rate times what? Your time, okay? So the distance covered is equal to rate, like how many kilometers uh, per hour, the rate, okay at which the car travels 10 times what's the duration um it gets from uh, let's say texas to new york okay that's uh, the time the time um difference okay that's the, sorry the time it took you to get from texas to new york okay let's say this is texas all right you're going to new york all right so the rate at which you you drove the car that's the kilometer per hour or the miles per hour okay it's the rate okay while the time it took you um from texas to new york is what your time which is usually measured in hours then your rate usually measured in miles all right so and when you do this the rate times time it will tell you the total distance in miles okay your rate, sorry, is measured in miles per hour, okay? That's the speed at which the car uh, drove, okay? So that's the speed, okay? So um, so we have our distance is equal to rate times time. And sometimes in some questions, or let me just go through the questions and I'll show you. Because um, sometimes you'll be told, you'll be given your distance and rate and not given the time. So, you know, you have to know how to manipulate this uh, by making one the subject of formula over the other. But uh, we have, I have several examples here for you. Okay, so we're going to do this together. These are four examples. We're going to do it together now. All right. So this says find the distance traveled by a train averaging 15 miles per hour for four hours. Remember what's our formula D? We can abbreviate this to D is equal to R times what T, which is what D is equal to RT. R times T is what RT. So here D is equal to what RT. That's our rate times time. And what is our rate here? Our rate here is 15 miles per hour. So our R is equal to 50 miles per hour. And our time, t, is equal to 4. So what do we do? We just put, put in these values here. We have 50 times 4 is equal to what? 200. So we have 200 what miles. Okay, this is the answer for this question. So the total distance traveled by the train is what? 200 miles. Okay, so our next question says, how long does it take for a bus to travel uh, 25 miles at an average rate of 25 miles per hour you can see this it says how long does it take so it means the question is asking us for what the time how long does it take for a bus to travel at 25 miles at an average rate of what 25 miles per hour so what is our rate here? Our rate is what? 25 miles per hour and uh, to travel this particular distance, 25 what, miles. So we have here, remember our formula is what? D is equal to RT. But here we are told to look for time. So we are to look for T. And to look for T, we have to make T the subject of formula here. So into making T the subject of formula, we divide both sides by T. Sorry, we divide both sides by R. I apologize. Okay, so where so where R will cancel out this R here, and we're left with what? We're left with what? D over R is equal to T, which is still the same thing as T is equal to what? D over R. Okay, so here we've been told that our D is what? D is equal to from here. D is equal to our distance is equal to 25 miles, and our R is equal to what? 25 miles. Per R, okay. So here, from here, T is equal to D is what 25, and R. Remember, R is what 25 miles per hour, and you see that the miles will cancel out, and we're just going to have R, okay. Or let me just quickly do it. Here. So we have miles here, and uh, 
miles per hour means uh, we have miles and an hour which is per hour okay which is a uh, h r raised to power one that's in the seeds okay i've not taught in the seeds yet but uh i i, I surely will do that uh, do it very soon and this h when you have something in the denominator and raised to power one it would definitely come up so here 25 divided by 25 here we have a 1 so our answer is just what 1 r okay that's the answer for your t is equal to what 1 r that's the time it will take for the bus to travel at this distance at an average rate of this now the next question says if a train travels um, 270 miles in yeah I forgot to uh, mention um, there's a Facebook group okay and a WhatsApp group I'm going to leave the link in the video description box I do free online classes every Wednesday by 9 a.m. US Central Time so on maths so you can feel free to join the groups okay and you get the notification of the link uh, whenever we have classes all right and uh, so check the description box of this video later on after this video and uh, what else what else okay and also don't forget that uh, Jesus Christ is coming soon give your life to Christ okay for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life don't forget that all right in him you will find hope peace that passes all understanding in life okay so let's go on now so we have this question it says if a train travels 270 miles in three hours what is the train's average speed so we're looking for what our rate is that not it that's what we're looking for what is the train's average speed in every question in math try to know what the question is asking for before you start solving so the question here is asking for what our rate and from our formula, we have D is equal to what rate times time. Is that not it? To get your R, to make R the subject of formula, we divide both sides by T. So where this will cancel out. So finally, our rate R is equal to what D over T. So from here, we've been given D, which is uh, the train travels this distance, 270 miles. So D is equal to what 270. And our time t is said in three hours is what three. So we divide. So what would this give us? This will three in twenty-seven into nine. So we have ninety. So we have ninety miles per hour. So this is our rate, ninety miles per hour. Okay. The final question here in this video it says, how long does it take to complete a delivery route of seventy-five miles at a rate of twenty-five miles per hour? okay how long that's the question how long so how long is what we're looking for the word time and from here we already have a formula for time which is what t is equal to d over r so uh here you can say um if, if you can just box let me quickly box this formula so if d is equal to rate times time it means we've already gotten here t is equal to a d over r you can box this and uh, r is equal to what d over t okay and we did it together here all right so time is what d over r and what is our d it says what 75 miles a delivery route of what 75 miles so that is our d okay and what is our rate which is r at a rate of 25 miles per hour divided by what 25 so uh, we can reduce this 25 and 75 will go how many times three times so we have three and we're looking for the time here so we have what three hours don't forget your unit of measurement always in maths some of these questions will come out without um, options so if you just say uh, you just see an underlining write down your answers okay that's some um, questions without um, calculator so you have if you just write down three you lost you you're going to lose a mark so make sure you put your unit of measurement which is you know this is uh, in a time as so you have to write your three words as here so this is the answer so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video and from us from dtw tutorials you are destined to win in life and even your ged test in christ all right thank you and see you in our next video